Hello, welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I'm Arnel. I'm sharing a thrift haul with you again today. I am participating in Thrifty Canucks and Thrifty Thursday. Uh, Thrifty Canucks is hosted by Kim Newberg and I think Caroline's Craft Tree. And it is for Canadian junk journalers um, to share their thrift dolls and wh where they found it and just connect to each other. Um, and then Thrifty Thursday is an open collaboration uh, that Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming is hosted and hosting and they have lists um, of everybody participating on their channels if you go to their description boxes I will link the information in my description box or if you just um, type in on the search button on the top of your screen uh, hashtag thrifty canucks hashtag thrifty thursday a lot of these um, videos of other participants will show up so this week I found two bags of this um, good quality acrylic paint I looked on um, Amazon they're actually pretty expensive so I'm very excited to start maybe painting a little bit more than just backgrounds in my father book I did some painting years ago but I'm not very good at it so <laughs> but I, th I suppose practice makes perfect I will keep on trying and especially now I found these um, there's just this one and there's one other one that's um, you know n doesn't have a lot of paint left in it but the rest of them are all filled with paint it's it's been used but there's still a lot of paint in there so I'm excited to try my hand at painting again and then this I assume it's the same person because there was good quality paint brushes in these two little canvas folding con um, bags and most of them are in great condition I think some of them probably haven't even been used um, some of them has been used a lot and a lot of them not at all so that would be nice to have decent paint brushes the ones that I have or have been used and abused and are not in good quality good condition anymore and then I'm always looking for these small little um, silver trays I like you having them on my desk to put my glue stick in or my credit card and all kind of my distress tool and little cutouts that I'm going to use for one specific um, project and then if I'm these are easy to just put into my um, project box if I'm doing different projects at once which happens a lot and then I don't it's easy to clean up my um, desk and they're just pretty if I leave them on the desk and I just sit there I, I love silver so I think they're just beautiful and then I found a bag with these booklets in them I think it was like for a card game tournament maybe bridge I'm not sure I don't play bridge but it has all the booklets have a number on it and there's red ones and black ones and then inside it, all of them has this you know player number two with booklet two and then a scoring thing and then this is a little score pad that's already very yellowed and feels old I'm not sure if I will tuck this into a journal maybe the back pocket as is or just take the cute little score pad out and add that into a journal and decorate it a bit and I found this the Monopoly card game I don't think anybody played this game and I think it would be fun to pl tr play it with the kids it has all the rules in there lots of brand new money and then the cards some of them has really nice um, illustration on I will use that and this and just tuck it into a journal these I would probably treat as altered you know altered playing cards and alter them if but I think first we will play this game before I decide whether or not to use it in my journals I also found this 
bag of ribbons and it's ribbons for first and second and third all the way to fifth place uh, it was probably something handed out at a school or a club you know for a tournament it says wild rose cavi club and there's a couple of different colors with the same wild rose cavi club third second fourth or whatever on them and these ribbons are very sturdy so i can totally see that i can use this as a belly band or even a side pocket or a pocket at the bottom of a page because they're very sturdy if i cut them i don't think they'll fray um so there was a lot of them and i and i thought even if i just tuck this in as a bookmark it will be interesting you know maybe staple some decorations on there or glue some on there or sew them on there and this would be something a little different than all the other things that I have at the moment and these two Gay and Company designer mats I got from um, the thrift store as well so these were mats that would um, glue your photo on for scrapbooking and the colors are very bright like these but I thought I can um, put some gesso on it to just tone it down it also has a texture almost like um, wallpaper so I think the gesso on there would make an interesting addition and these would be perfect for journaling cards pockets it's, it's cardstock it's not just paper and this booklet has this cut out on the corners and it has a lot of grit and line papers in here which would be nice to use as well and this this one is more muted it's not as bright as the other book and then on to fabrics I found this dress for very reasonable price and it's like a rose pink with gold polka dots on it and this the fabric is nice and thin i don't think it would fray a lot so it would be perfect for ruffles or fabric ribbon um, snippet rolls little snippet clusters all kinds of things i really like this so i'm going to start cutting this up um, and use that and then I found these two big, I think it's like king size uh, pillowcases and it's quilted and with this, it's like a moss green with that mauve pink. So I think that pink dress would work perfectly with this. And there's two of them, the back look like, like this. So that would be make a really nice um, fabric journal cover. And then this, I, this is a tablecloth. It kind of reminds me almost like a sari. It has um, embroidery in white and gold thread. I don't know if you can see the gold thread. And the, it has a really nice texture uh, because of the embroidery. And I, this is done on cotton, like a nice pink pastel color cotton. and. Yeah, I think this would be interesting in using in your journals as well. And then this huge piece of upholstery fabric. I couldn't, I think somebody made a mistake because this was so cheap. Um, I just love it. It kind of reminds me of Edith Holden with this background color and the flowers, pastel flowers. Um, yeah. And it's a nice thick upholstery fabric would be perfect for uh, fabric cover journals as well and then we'll go on to the books I have found this bouquet of poetry book number two and it's the first hardcover ideals book that I have found um, I don't know I don't find a lot of ideals where I'm living but look at this back cover I think it's beautiful and then inside there's no date oh 1971 copyright 1971 but it has matte paper everything printed in this brown 
Um, oh, look at the hyacinths. Oh, beautiful. So perfect if you fold it in half for a journaling page. And it has a lot of photos in here. Look at the milk glass. I love milk glass. Yeah, so I will definitely and like there's a lot of written poems in here that would be great for word word snippets. And it all has, you know, on the top it has words in this beautiful font that I can use as well for word snippets. So then I found this Betty Crockett picture cookbook. I found the ring binder a couple of weeks ago and I definitely want to make Christmas journals with these um, a little later on. This book is not old. The first copyright was 1950, but this one was a reprint from 2005. But it has all the old um, pictures in here. The um, divider pages, from, like, same as in the, the ring binder. So, and all of these, it this almost looks like it is cross stitch. You know the way it's printed, but it has all the beautiful old photos in here. And um, cute little illustrations throughout the book. There was this cute, I'm not going to find it, gingerbread man. <laughs> See, like that as well. Even though it's brown and white, I think it would be nice as a journaling card or a pocket. Just add some decorations on there and off you go. And this week I found another automobile book. Last week I wasn't sure if I should buy <laughs> the automobile book that I showed you, but this week I didn't think twice. I just love the illustrations in here. So it's 1895 to 1930. The Wonderful World of Automobiles and oh, it's the so each um, page has a year for the illustrations or advertisements in them and some of them are this way and so that one wouldn't work but if this one is also yeah so this one if you fold it in half would make perfect pages in your book and there's a couple of them printed like that that you can use and then there's just beautiful black and white images and advertisements in here from early years 19 to this one's 1922 1920 1917 camping in comfort <laughs> and I think it's all the way yeah to 1930 and then I just love the appendix pages these would be perfect for collages and all kinds of things and the pages are already a little yellowed on the edges and then I found this book about I think it's a this is how you pronounce Durer, uh, the drawings and graphic works of Durer. 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 <laughs> he's, he's a, I've never heard of him. He's a German painter. And um, I'll have to read this book before I take it apart because I am very curious about this painter. He, this book was published in 1970 and he lived from 1471 to 1528 and his work is absolutely beautiful like I look at that isn't that pretty in that I would definitely like to find out more oh and look at this oh this is beautiful definitely would like to find out more about him and um, oh this is beautiful 
and look at the back cover of the dust jacket I just love it the next thing I found were these two my book house books um, the one is through the gate and the other one is up one pair of stairs and I just love 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 these covers and the pages inside is uh, this one is let's just look at the copy date before I show you the illustrations uh, this one is 19 the 1971 so the first edition was 1932 and this one is 1971 it has like these two-toned mostly two-toned illustrations in here not so crazy about the orange but I do like the orange and the the kind of aqua color together where are they now like there is one that's more multicolored that one's beautiful too and I think in the back like this I do like these two colors combined and this one up one pair of stairs is also I think it's the same date yes 1971 and it has the same kind of illustrations inside oh, this is beautiful shaking of the pear tree <laughs> Yep, so same kind of thing. I will definitely want to use this cover and these illustrations. This is beautiful. Yeah, Kate Greenaway. It's Kate Greenaway. I thought it looked like her illus kind of illustrations. This is a new book. I, I don't think anybody even opened this book it is the life of Charles Dickens John Foster and um, the dust cover is kind of too toned with the circles and this is the cover of the book it's just beautiful and look at these pages oh. so I'm going to read this book because I think it's very interesting it would be interesting to find out because it's all about Dickens's life uh, when was this published? Uh, 2011, so not old at all. Um, but there's beautiful, beautiful illustrations in here and photos. Look at that. Yeah, so once I finish reading this, I'll decide if I w want to look at that old photo, want to cut it apart and use it for um, my journals, but I'm definitely going to read this first. It's a beautiful book. And the f fortune one dollar copy ten dollars a year and it's February 1930 it's a really big book um, and it looks like it's a combination of magazines together there it just says February 1930 and it has beautiful um, pictures in here and it's matte pictures more automobiles all matte pictures oh, this is good Not very nice oh look at this advertisement for a typewriter typewriter billing machine oh anyway lots of good stuff in this book as well Look at this. Alert in the morning and at 3 o'clock. I weary. <laughs> Edison Mazda lamps. General Electric. 
yeah look at this metered mail so it's a machine you can put the mail through I suppose anyway interesting book and then I found this five minute bunny tails at bedtime and the bunnies in here is just adorable look at these small little ones if you just fussy tear those out for little clusters and throughout the book let's see this one says 1994 yeah the copyright was 1993 but just adorable little bunnies and everything is kind of on the bottom so all of this can be w used for word snippets and this would be a perfect pocket or a journaling card just there you have it look at this I think it's just and the colors are it almost looks like watercolors you know it was painted with a watercolor paint but just one page after the other beautiful illustrations look at the bunny in the bed yeah so I just love this book it is five minute bunny tales for bedtime and it's illustrated by Peter Stevenson and last book is this A Child's Garden of Verses illustrated by Hilda Boswell and this one oh, it's just beautiful but there's no um, date in here not even in the back yeah no date but look at these illustrations I don't know if it's really old if this just probably would is just a reprint as well from an older book but I just love the illustrations in here it is so 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 pretty look at these birds and the little bees and the flowers this is just anyway the whole book is like this if you do want to look at it look at the bees it's a child's garden of verses robert louis stevenson and illustrated by hilda boswell thank you for joining me today i will um, put all the information in the description box if you want to find more out more about thrifty canucks and thrifty thursday and i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you soon bye